today. So I thought I'd sort of take the opportunity to tell you a little bit about kind of the Elliott School now, or, or APA as we call it. Um, and obviously you've had the opportunity to look around and you'll know that we've gone through some massive changes. When I arrived here sort of four and a half years ago, <coughs> we were in porter cabins on the kind of where the, the, the pitch is now, the 3G pitch, whilst the renovations of the building started. And there was approximately £30 million spent on renovating the building. When you think about it like that, you, you know, in modern terms, you would probably be able to, buy, uh, to build two new schools, because that's roughly what a school would actually cost to build £15 million. But obviously, because of the listing, um, uh, they were um, obviously obliged to refurbish the building. And it was, a, it was a huge kind of process that I was involved in, really, from pretty much the starting point of the building works, of actually moving the children back in. And we really do count ourselves really lucky to have such a great site uh, as a school. And it's very spacious, it's very airy, and it's just really kind of quite cool and funky with the glass and kind of the features that have been kept intact, in, in like the stairwells, um, but also obviously we've got really kind of the modern kind of sports hall um, versus kind of the beautiful sort of sports hall that we have and we use um, for our assemblies. Now when I arrived, the school badge had been, uh, with the opening of the new academy, it had been redesigned, it was just APA, it was, it was kind of quite boring, quite bland. So, um, in the first kind of year or so of being head, I decided that <coughs> we really need to make some links and connections with the past. And um, I think the easiest way to do that is to, to use the kind of the Elliot uh, elephant, the elephant <coughs> playground, um, and all references to everything elephant-like. Um, and we brought that back into kind of our school badge, as you can see. And also on the other side, you've got the kind of the, the wavy line of the roof upstairs <coughs> across the art uh, uh, buildings. Um, and um, we adapt that really. So you've got sort of the, the reflection of the elephant playground there, and that's one of our students, that's Edgar, <coughs> just about to see him. And he's holding up um, uh, Elliot, our elephant. And uh, uh, Elliot, our elephant, goes to assembly every Monday, and he's allocated to the tutor group that's got the highest attendance. So kind of linking kind of the past with the present. So what's been happening at the school over the last few years? Well, we're really <coughs> proud of the outcomes that we're securing for the students. This year we had our best ever um, uh, exam results. Um, we got very good progress for the students. Um, uh, essentially we've got progress, what we call a progress eight score, of 0.4, which is very, very high, it puts us in the top 30% of schools nationally. And obviously, we've got a thriving sixth form as well. And again, the outcomes for the sixth form, I think Mark could just, just move, cover that over it slightly, it's really good. It puts us in the top 10% of sixth forms in, in the country, which is, you know, an amazing achievement considering, I know that some of you came around the building maybe in the last five or six years and you could see how kind of sad and tired it had become and obviously we had a very sh small school that shrunk and shrunk down and now obviously we're in a position where we're growing in terms of outcomes for the students and in numbers. We've got about 650 students at the school and we're probably in the next four years going to go up to about 11 Hundred. Can you tell us the origin of the names of the houses? Right, okay, so we have uh, Rowling, after J.K. Rowling. Um, so um, uh, uh, that's kind of a, a, a reference to kind of, sort of female empowerment, uh, I suppose. We've got um, Turing, uh, after Alan Turing. Um, and uh, we've got Brunel, um, after the bridge builder and, uh, and that. And the one that I've missed out is... McQueen, and that is after Steve McQueen, not the actor, no, the, film film the film producer and Turner Prize winning artist. So, I mean, the choices of those, we actually chose these with the, ki with the kids because we wanted them to have a choice, and we gave them a list of names. And I think it, it really reflects kind of the diversity of the school, and it celebrates the fact that we're so diverse, because obviously we've got students from every kind of background possible. Um, we are really 30% white British, 30% um, Afro-Caribbean, 
um, black African, and the rest <laughs> is, I suppose, a melting pot of, of London. <laughs> Um, sort of it's been really, way. yeah. So, it's which way. makes it such a wonderful place to be. And one thing I would say about the students is they really celebrate each other's differences and diversity. And uh, I think that's what makes it a really special school in that sense. In that there is no um, segregation of any kind. People just get on with each other uh, and uh, um, and celebrate differences. So you know, uh, whatever those may well be. You know, song chords and things like that. We've put them into little bands and then they're performing uh, together in, in bands and kind of generate that enthusiasm for music that I know that uh, the Elliott School is quite famous for and very successful uh, actually uh, on a kind of international stage. <coughs> so, I mean, we think that we've got a lot to offer in the local community. Um, we're becoming more and more popular and I'm sure that everybody here would be pleased to know that, that that's the case, that the kind of the old Elliot school is alive in spirit through Art Putney Academy and is thriving again and it's a really successful part of the local community. Okay, so thank you. Saying the wreath on behalf of teachers, <clears throat> we have so much to be thankful for for teachers. Just talking with a group going round the school today, uh, my father used to, uh, Brian Bastin, used to teach technical drawing. And uh, when the subject came up in conversation, yeah, I'm, I was a draftsman most of my work in life, thanks to knowing something about technical drawing. Somebody else was an architect for his career, thanks to learning about technical drawing. We all are very grateful to teachers. And uh, today we recognize the, uh, the fallen teachers from the Elliott School. Thank you. And this one obviously represents us pupils. Um, not just obviously those who are here today, but those who were at school with who are no longer with us, and of course those who have uh, played their lives during the Great War. Mm -hmm. um, this wreath is on behalf of the staff again um, for people who used to attend um, school who gave their lives in the wars. I think it would now be fitting if we held a moment of silence just to remember those who uh, were wrong with us. Um, okay, please, please sit down again. We're sure we should go to lunch, but just before we do that, um, can I just talk about something that's, that's quite dear to my heart? <coughs> I came here in 2004 and was allowed to photograph the school and that's what led to the website for those photographs of the school and I was appalled by what I saw because obviously the condition of the school was really bad by then. Um, we've had a couple of reunions since where a lot of you have attended and seen just how bad it was and now we can see just how good it is and, and how, despite the fact we've lost a bit of the ground, we have got a wonderfully uh, preserved school, very much like I remember it when I came here in 54, sorry, 56, when it was just a couple of years old. Unfortunately, during the bad times, an awful lot of memorabilia relating to the school disappeared. And one thing that we've been doing on the website has been to try and get people to let us have memorabilia. Now, Edmund Hodges, who's really been the driving force behind this, has got a good collection. I've got bits and pieces, but it's very, very small compared with what is out there uh, amongst ex-pupils. Mm -hmm. Alison has very kindly agreed to let us have a location here in the library for that stuff to go on display. So Edmund and I are going to donate our stuff to the, the, uh, the, the ARC to actually put them up here. If any of you have anything that you feel would be useful to the school, um, Alison would very much like to hear from you. And 
most importantly from the website's point of view, if any of you have photographs of your forms, anything like that that can be scanned and, and emailed to the website, we can put them on the website, but if you can't scan, let Alison again have them because the school will scan them and give them to us. And that way, those in Australia who can never get to the school again can at least see that stuff on the website, which is what the website is all about. That, that's basically it. Um, Mind you, this is much more healthier. <laughs> Thank you.